Hello again, my lovely Stitcher friends. Callie here, and today I wasn't planning on doing a uh, video, but um, I kind of have to <laughs> because uh, I have some information that is time sensitive, so I've got to get it out to you guys. Um, so I had a commenter on my first video, I believe, who uh, had commented about my frame and asked some questions about it. And so I got this frame at Hobby Lobby and I got it on Black Friday. Now I thought that the um, coupon that I had used for it was only for Black Friday. However, I found out today that it's a coupon that's 40% off that is good until the 24th of December. Now, right now, as I'm filming, it's the 19th. I may not get this video up until tomorrow, which will be the 20th, but if you have a Hobby Lobby in your area and even if you don't, you can use this coupon in the store or online. Now, it's a coupon for 40% off for one regular priced item. Now, the item that I used it for was a frame. And the frame that I got, I have to admit, I hated it. <laughs> when I first got it, I hated it. Um, I'll show you why here in just a second. However, I fixed it. And I can show you guys how I fixed it. And you can use it as well. Now, this is a really cheap frame. Not cheap as in poor quality, but as in the price is low. Now, get this, you guys. I got this frame for $14.99 US plus tax. I think it ended up being like $16 and some change. So this is a frame, a scroll frame that you can get for under $20, but you have to get it between now and December 24th. Um, what you have to do is you have to go on Hobby Lobby's website you have to either, if you're going into the store, you print out the coupon and take it with you. So you're also going to need access to a printer. But even if you don't have a printer, you can still go to your local library and get on their computer and print it off at the library. I'm trying to make this as easy as possible, though. So um, you can also, if you have a smartphone, you can look up the coupon on your smartphone as you're going through the checkout, you show them the coupon and you can do it that way. So, anyway, you can get a 40% off coupon and you can, of course, you don't have to use it for this particular frame, but they have multiple frames besides this one. You should be able to look online at the frames they have and pick out which one you want and you can go and get it or you can do it online. Now, if you do it online, I think you have to spend a certain amount of money before they give you free shipping. I'm not sure how much money it is. But of course if you have a Hobby Lobby in your area, you know, it's simple as just having it pulled up on your phone, going there, getting your frame, showing the uh, coupon as you're checking out on your, your smartphone and you get a frame for under $20. Right, so let me show you how I fix this frame up. Um, let's see here. I've got the needle stuck in it, but that's okay. Um, I had to scoop back. So here is my frame, and I have my whip in there right now. All right, you guys, this washer, this one washer, like right here, 
I can't remember which one it is, but one of the washers really stuck. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can show you what I'm talking about without taking it apart. Um, completely anyway. So, this right here, I, I don't know if you can see this. Take this off. Nope. Okay, so this right here, this, um, I guess you would call it like a, a dowel, you know, like a dowel rod kind of thing. But this piece right here, um, this is split. This piece of wood is completely split down the middle. I don't know if you can... Can you guys see that? You can see it better here. And what you're supposed to do with this, which I tried to begin with, but what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to place, you're supposed to place your whip, and you can kind of see the light coming through right here. See, you see my finger. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to place your Ida or your fabric in between the this little rod here you're supposed to put it, the fabric in between there and then you're supposed to put on each end these things see you you slip this on here and then the fabric is supposed to be clamped down enough between the here that when you roll it, you know, like this, that it will stay in between here. Now the problem I had is that it wouldn't stay. I tried and tried and tried to get this thing to stay in between here. Would not. It just wouldn't. You can't get it. You see? You can't get it tight enough right here because it's like this right here will tighten at the top but it's not tightening enough right down here close to the rod enough to where whenever you tighten it that it won't slip in the middle what I was having trouble with was like right here in the middle it would slip so what I did is so what I did is I took a piece of Ada that was about the length of my project which is I don't know 13 or so inches long and it was about four to five inches wide and I put it in between this dowel rod here and I took on this side of where it was coming out so I had it sticking out so here's my dowel rod right here and here's the center so I had like so I had a couple of inches sticking out on this side and a couple inches of Ida sticking out on this side so essentially I just took this piece of Ida that was about this wide and I stuck it in the middle so I took this side that was sticking out and I rolled it over top of the rod like that and then what I did is it came over the top and I stitched it I hope you can see that underneath there I stitched it underneath there and see here is the other side so the Ida is coming out here going over the top and then it's stitched down underneath there to 
this part of the Ida. Then I took my whip Then I took my whip and I stitched it to the eye that was on the rod. Now, the reason why this works is because it is stitched on so it can't slip. This part right here is completely secure. Now it can slide back and forth, but whenever you have it rolled up, it doesn't. It doesn't slide back and forth. I've not had any problems with that. Now, this is not a really expensive um, scroll rod. It's just not. But I tell you who this is absolutely perfect for someone who wants to try out scroll frames who never has tried out scroll frames and they want to see if they will like it or not this is perfect like it's it, i mean it's 14.99 without tax you really aren't going to find a scroll frame for cheaper than that that you know, not not like this, not a wooden one, and it is made out of quality wood and everything. Um, I don't have any complaints about that. I just don't like the way that this is made. I wish they had, you know, the fabric. A lot of them have the fabric that's already kind of hooked up like this. Um, you know, it's just one more step that you have to do to set it up. But, the thing is, once you have this on here, once you put it on there, you can use the same one as long as it's your, your next project is about the same length and everything, or smaller. You can use the same one. You don't have to cut this off. You know, I'll just cut the, uh, I'll just take out the stitches right, right here holding my whip on and I will reuse let's see I'll show you the other side here too see this is where my whip is stitched on uh, this is the back side of it and you can see like I will just have to take this out right here and this part right here at the top this will actually stay on the frame itself and as long as my next project is not any longer than this right here I can reuse this and don't worry about do you see this do you do you see this this is from a hoop I hate this hate it this is why I love this frame so much um, this is just from me holding a hoop and it getting dirty because I was eating. I have to eat because I have low blood sugar because of my illness and so you know anyway but I hope you can kind of understand what I'm what I'm trying to show you here. I just did not want to have to restitch all of this. If you don't understand kind of where I'm I'm trying to go with this let me know and I will Go ahead and take this completely apart and I will show you exactly what you need to do step by step by step on how I did this. But again, uh, this is a sale at Hobby Lobby. I'm going to put a link down below in the description that will take you to the exact page for this particular frame. They do have other frames. On their website that you can look at as well but the link in the description is going to be for this exact frame so um, if you have any questions at all please please feel free to comment down below um, I'm trying to think oh and again this is Hobby Lobby um, and the coupon can be used online or in the store so, 
you, even if you live in a place where there are no Hobby Lobbies in your area, you can still get it online and use the coupon. You'll have to pay for shipping, but hopefully, I think the coupon would cover the shipping costs. Oh, and I should mention the original price for the frame is $24.99. So even if you do miss this 40% off coupon, you could still get this frame for $24.99. So um, I really hope this helps some people out. It would be great for people who have wanted to try out scroll frames but don't want to spend a lot of money and just to see if they like it and I really like it once I fix the Ida onto it I love it it's perfect it's awesome love 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 the frame I'll never go back to hoops now that I have tried this no offense to anybody who likes hoops but this thing's awesome um Anyways, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask and comment down below. And don't forget to give this a like. And I still haven't forgotten I'm going to make that video on how to turn on the notifications for people you subscribe to on YouTube. That way you aren't unsubscribed to them for some reason. Um, again, comment down below and be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.